there's something about the riding of the bounds that brings people together. A family day out. Meeting old friends. An excellent turnout. I think we had about 70 odd horses, which is a lot. Uh, sun shone, which is fantastic, and also had. Um, the Barrack Mill Voice Choir and another two choirs who were there and all on the town also, so really good. Everyone coming together for the love of horses and centuries old traditions. Riding of the Bounds happens every year and all the horses gather. It's been a tradition for how long? A few hundred years. It no. goes back hundreds of years. It was a very proud moment to actually give the Chief Marshal a flag, ask them to go and ride the Bounds and come back to me and for them to report back that it was uh, that all the boundary was secure. It was a fantastic moment to stand there and actually represent Berwick, be the number one citizen. You know. Born and bred very, it was absolutely fantastic. <laughs> I've ridden twice, once I did it in 2012 in memory of my daughter Sarah, who sadly died in 2010. She was 19 and had cancer. She did it every year from quite a young, young age and was a massive horse fan, loved horses. And I decided to take up riding after Sarah died and I actually rode her horse Tom both years. I did it in 2012 and then in 13 with Amanda in her memory. Hopefully she was proud as well, because we were always proud when she did it. We used to come and watch her, dad and I, every year, and I just felt it was something I had to do. Terrified, but I had to, I had to do it, and I did. Didn't get to, we didn't miss it. Well, this year we just didn't get enough time in for riding and training, so I didn't, I didn't get enough to because you do have to prepare. Well, we you feel have to get we your do. horse fit, you've got to get your horse fit, you've got to get yourself, get yourself fit and fit get ready prepared. because the first half is it's quite tough, it can be fast, there's a lot of fields, a lot of hills, a lot of galloping. The second half, it's more road, so you do a lot of walk and trot coming back, but the first half can be it can be quite fast, fast paced. Being the border country, the scenery adds quite a magnificence to the backdrop. On the Gaineslaw Hill Farm, and a much deserved rest.
the Big Red Bus, taking followers of the event on a very unique excursion. Very much If so. it hadn't have been, I mean, I was part of it because of Sarah's involvement with horses, not a rider myself. But after Sarah passed away, the horse, and we've got a little donkey as well called Eddie, who's hers. And if it hadn't have been for them, I don't know where I would be, because they actually got me through the grief. They got me through. And that's what I focused on, focused on riding. And it's been, it's a huge part of my life. Huge. Horses are both of our lives. Massive. Horses come first, basically. They do. <laughs> Always. Before the husband, <laughs> sadly. But they do. Because it comes first, everything else comes second. <laughs> Well, we've just come back from uh, Gainslow Hill, back through, back into town, basically. My friend's riding my horse today on the first half. Um, but no doubt we'll do it again, the whole yes, thing. Yes, we will. Yes, we yes, will. We're, we're planning maybe yeah. next year oh, to do it again. Back, yes, I get really start. sentimental. Uh, it makes you so, so proud, you know, to think that we've got carried on with the next Canty's Bridge, another milestone. Nearly back home. And with that, the boundary is checked and secured for another year.